Welcome back. There's a new development in the manufacturing sector. In the latest development, two companies have partnered to pr bring the production of milk powder to Jamaica. Andrew Laidley reports. This is where the production will take place. Before now, these sachets were produced and manufactured in Dominica. Nestle has moved that production to Jamaica partly because of the island's geographic advantage. Country manager at Nestle Jamaica, Daniel Caron, says bringing the production to Jamaica didn't require a lot of financial investment because the infrastructure was already in place. The investment has been um, from equipment next to none because we've par partnered in with Dairy Industries where um, they have the capacity, they have the expertise, they have the know-how. Um, this facility is state-of-the-art. This facility is, uh, has all uh, the, the world certifications that Nestle would require, so we didn't have to invest. CEO of Grace Kennedy Foods Domestic Division, Frank James, explained that the partnership will create much needed jobs in the industry. It has added about 10 more jobs immediately, but the truth is we're looking at the bigger picture and where we can go with this. So we have started with it with, by bringing this production back to Jamaica. It was being produced under another brand outside of Jamaica, and now we have that manufacturing happening in Jamaica. It's a commitment to manufacturing in Jamaica, and as we have seen through the COVID experience, investing in manufacturing and ensuring the security of manufacturing in Jamaica is key, both from the point of view of protecting jobs, but also from ensuring our self-reliance as a, as a country. Mr. James also indicated that Jamaica can now explore export opportunities with the new product, an initiative which before now was not an option. But not only are we there for preventing having to have that import, but we have the possibility in the future of exporting to other markets around the Caribbean and probably even farther afield. So it has the opportunity to grow that number uh, meaningfully. Um, it's helps, as Daniel said, with the efficiency of the plant because the more production capacity you have running through the plant, the more overheads we're able to absorb and the better for all of us in terms of our consumers, in terms of our ability to have a competitive price. Meanwhile, Mr. Caron argued that the product is not intended to replace fresh cow's milk on the market. He says based on research, there is a segment of the dairy market which will benefit significantly from the new product. We are now producing 100% Jamaican content. It's not reconstituted powdered milk. It's a hundred percent fresh cow's milk made in Jamaica from Jamaican farmers. So it's been balancing because not every market, not everyone in the market can afford that either or even have the capabilities to keep it fresh. So there is a market that needs the affordable, everyday milk powder. Um, and this is not only a milk powder, but it's a milk beverage. Um, so this is, fills that need space for the market. The co-manufacturing deal between Nestle and Dairy Industries was formalized in March this year. However, the launch was delayed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News.